your your party uh, decided to advocate for yes yes votes yep. after what you said was a lot of deliberation on the care referendum. Did you make the wrong call, and are you out of touch with your own uh, party's grassroots on this? No, we're very, very much in touch with people, and uh, you'll recall that I said from the get-go uh, that we were very much in favour of removing sexist language from the Constitution, very much in favour of a, an inclusive de definition of families, but uh, we knew that the government had come up short in terms of the, the caring uh, wording. Uh, they disregarded the Citizens' Assembly, um, they didn't consult with uh, opposition or with other stakeholders, they didn't collaborate and they failed to convince. So for us, and I, I know talking to lots of people, that uh, people were left with an unbalanced decision uh, to make. Um, and I think it's a, a great pity that the government went on this kind of solo run and they've had their answer and the people have thought, by the way, uh, I don't think there has been uh, a lack of clarity for people. I think people, when they came out and voted, were very clear uh, how they were voting and why they were voting in a particular way. And if there is one big takeaway message from this, it is that support for people with disabilities uh, as full and equal citizens and support for carers is something that has to be taken seriously by government. And I think it will fall to the next government to vindicate those rights Very in full.